if you are not doing these methods that I'm about to show you in this video in the Lucky Block mini game in Pet Simulator 99, you are potentially missing out on hundreds of thousands of diamonds per run that you could be getting as well as a number of extra drops that you could be getting if you just do this one simple trick while in this area. In this video, I'm going to show you how the Lucky Block area works and the best way to do it, as well as my setup with enchantments and potions and fruits and stuff like that, just so you guys can see exactly how you could be earning this amount of diamonds each run. And I've been getting a lot of comments about my avatar in Roblox, and you guys have been really bullying me, and I don't really like it. So tonight on my live stream, I am going to be fixing my Roblox avatar. So if you want to come check that out, link will be down in the description. I will be live tonight doing that. Congratulations to the last three winners of the giveaway from the enchantment tier list video. Comment your Roblox username down in the description and you get entered into a chance for a free exclusive pet in Pet Simulator 99. I do the drawing 24 hours after upload. Please comment your Roblox username down below and that will be all good. All right, so whether or not you guys want to believe it, there is a method to doing this area because it is not clear cut. And there are no instructions when you really get in there that tell you how exactly things work with the big lucky block and such. First, I'm going to show you my potion setup. I currently use one of these damage six, a diamond six, and a treasure six. Treasure six is super important because most of the diamonds you get while doing this run are going to come from the drops that you get. So it's super important to have a treasure. You don't need the six tier of these potions. You can use whatever tier you currently have. I'm just using what I currently have in stock. Uh, I also pop a speed potion. It's not really necessary with the other stuff we're going to add. Next, we are going to start with the fruit obviously eat as much fruit as you have pop some of these squeaky toys some of the toy bones toy balls and then eat all the fruit that you got max out so 20 of each next we are not going to use my huge hunter loadout we're actually going to use this loadout which i use for this area so i use two critical six books two diamond six books a fortune and then two treasure sixes nothing special as you can see if you are free to play you can still use this method it depends on whether or not you think you do enough damage to the lucky blocks so for most of you guys you're probably going to need two critical six books so i would remove one of these one of these and one of these and then uh you would be able to put the magnet three because you need that to pick up all the stuff uh and then you would be left with two criticals a treasure diamond and a magnet book so that's a setup for free to play. But if you have enough, if you have extra slots like I do, then use the fortune with the diamonds books because when you have more than two enchants of one kind, it starts to fall off. So I use a fortune as the third enchant to get the most amount of diamonds from these lucky blocks. So this is my current setup. We're about to head in there. I'm going to show you how to do this mini game. So when you enter, you can see up here, it has your progression towards the big black lucky block. And that's pretty much what you want for this run. That's where you make most of the drops that you get. Um, so each of these different color lucky blocks has a, a different value that you can get points for this uh, progression system. So I usually go for these pink ones because they give you a hundred points. Actually, really quick, something I like to do, I turn off pets follow taps. because I feel like I grind better when my pets are able to just freely walk around and I'm able to tap specific thing from a distance. I will tap all the pink ones while my pets go ahead and destroy all the little ones around me. So you're basically just gonna wanna walk in like a circular formation in this area while breaking these pink lucky blocks by tapping. This is just the best way to maximize destroying all of these lucky blocks. So while it is super important to try to get that big black lucky block um, up at the top there, this area is actually best just for the raw diamonds that you get from breaking all of these lucky blocks. As you can see, we were only a minute into it and I'm at 20,000 diamonds grinded, which is insane. You're not able to get this amount of diamonds anywhere else in the map, so you should be doing this lucky block area every three hours 
uh, that it lets you. Keep that in mind. So we just reached the first goal. Is about to spawn there. So we got one over there. This is where you need to listen up. So you're not going to actually destroy this lucky block now. You're actually going to leave it uh, for the end. And I'll show you why. The way this lucky block area works is that you get 15 minutes to destroy as many lucky blocks as you can. But there is a four big black lucky block limit. So you can only destroy four and then it will end your timer and give you like 15 seconds left on the timer. But this is not what you're going to want because while the black lucky blocks are really good, these diamonds are insane. Look, I'm now at 40,000 diamonds in just under three minutes of grinding. So you're going to want to use the max amount timer that you possibly can in order to get the most amount of diamonds. So if you start destroying these lucky blocks and end up hitting your limit before the 15 minutes is up, you are going to be really upset because you're going to be missing out on thousands of diamonds. Really, our goal with these black lucky boxes is that we want them as close as possible. You just don't want your pets to start breaking it because then it's going to slow down you breaking all the rest of these uh, lucky blocks. The only strategy I can really give you for this area is you should just be running into the areas that have the most lucky blocks, not just the pink ones. Even these small ones generate a lot of diamonds. That's why it's important to turn off that pets follow taps feature so they can just go and attack everything else while you run around and you specifically click on things like these pink lucky blocks that give you more points. How quickly you get these black lucky blocks also depends a lot on your luck with these spawns. There is a 5,000 point rainbow lucky block that can randomly spawn in this area. That really pushes you up to getting your next black lucky block. This is the first black lucky block that is over on the other side and it's not with the other two. So we're actually going to destroy this one right here. So I'm going to get all my pets. Uh, it's fine if they start destroying things on the outside of it because we still need those points to get the next black lucky block. But right now, I'm just going to have my pets destroy this and I'll be right back. To explain this strategy a little bit ahead of time, we're basically going to destroy three black lucky blocks and then leave two at the end that we're going to destroy at the same time. We're basically exploiting the system that limits that you can only have three black lucky blocks. We're going to destroy five uh, and get an extra set of rewards at the end. Somebody joined our lobby and is now breaking one of our black lucky blocks. Okay, so this, it's kind of annoying uh, that they're doing that, but you can't really avoid that. I guess I should have loaded into my private server for this video, uh, but hopefully it takes them a while to destroy it. Okay, they're not doing a ton of damage, so this might be fine. All right, so we broke that one. We are now going to keep grinding this last area. Hopefully she doesn't do too much damage and actually mess this up. We currently broke two of them, so it's actually not going to be a problem. That is a good thing to keep in mind, though, that this area is multiplayer, and you can utilize having your friends or your alt accounts do this area with you to clear out different sections of the map. You could have your friend clear out the front section and then you clear out the back section. Something like that to more effectively go through these lucky blocks. But the downside to that is you're probably not going to get enough time to really destroy all these lucky blocks like I'm trying to show you. Because this is where most of the gems come from. We're currently 10 minutes in and I'm at 120,000 diamonds right now. So we are doing pretty good. Uh, we currently have four that have spawned. We are going for our fifth. So this is where it's going to get really dicey once this fifth one spawns. And I'm going to show you exactly what to do. All right, so as you guys can see, we're about to hit the goal. I'm actually going to turn on the pets follow taps because this is very important for this next section. So we're going to see where this one spawns. It actually spawns over there as well. Um, so we're going to help her break this one. Uh, actually, no, we're going to... We're going to break this one on the right here, um, but we're not going to break it all the way. We're actually going to break it to the point uh, where it's like in the red health bar. And then we are going to do the same to the other one. And I'm going to show you how you can essentially get five of these lucky blocks. So we're currently at the three minute mark. We're at 140,000 diamonds. Uh, now we're going to move our pets over to the second one as this one's at the red bar. So we're going we're gonna to want to get it as close as possible to getting destroyed so we have enough time to quickly destroy it and run over and grab all of the stuff. 
All right, that's really close to red bar. That's really close to red bar. Now we're gonna destroy this one in the middle, actually. Uh, so we have two minutes left. So we're cutting this very close, but it's good because we're utilizing the most of our time in this lucky block area. So now we have three of our four lucky blocks destroyed. So we're gonna destroy this one really quick and it's gonna trigger the timer. So we're gonna grab all the stuff from that one. And then we're gonna quickly break this one and run over and grab all the stuff. So as you can see, we got all the rewards from five lucky blocks. We could have stretched it out a little bit longer if Daisy wasn't in here, but that's okay. We are still able to get over 140,000 diamonds and a whole bunch of rewards. So as you guys can see, we got a whole lot of diamonds in this video and we were able to secure the loot drops for five of those big black lucky blacks. So I hope this video helped you and you are able to get this many, if not more diamonds, each of your runs in the lucky block area. Remember to comment your username down below for the giveaway. Make sure you like the video as well as are subscribed to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.